Hey guys, Ranger Liz here, starting the video a little differently. I'm going to be showing a picture of uh, Robert Axelrod. We got an update about him, and if you don't want to see it, I understand. It's kind of hard to look at, but here it is. Uh, he's not doing very well, Ranger Nation. You probably know him, as most of us, as the voices of Finster and Lord Zed, along many, many others, but that's really what he is known for in the Power Rangers universe. Long story short, a year ago he had back surgery and there were complications leaving him in the hospital, rendered barely able to speak, and he has no movement from the waist down. Unfortunately, yesterday, uh, or two days ago, we got an update that his situation has not improved at all, and he still is immobile from the waist down, and his between medical bills and everything and the GoFundMe they've already used, um, they only have enough for about two more months of bills for him. So Ranger Nation, if you would like to come together and help out Mr. Robert Axelrod, a voice of our childhood, I will of course have a link below to the GoFundMe. They will also have some autographs. I guess over the last year he's been in the hospital, he's been only had the energy to sign 147 autographs. And they are going to take those autographs. Austin St. John is going to be putting them on his website, austinstjohn.biz. They are going to be at a premium they said but just know that all of the money that is raised they basically said all money minus taxes stupid taxes all money minus taxes is going straight to him and his gofundme page if you would like more information please check out the gofundme page in the link below and let's have help out our uh evil emperor lord zed um, especially with all of us buying, I mean, we're all buying the figures right now of Lord Zed in the Lightning Collection. Uh, if you can, please go help him out. Uh, share this, whatever, uh, send it out on a tweet, however you need to do it, but please help spread the word and let's help him out. Thank you, and now onto the regularly scheduled Ranger and Toku Week in Review. Happy Friday, Ranger Nation! What is up, guys? How are you doing? Welcome to the Ranger Week in Review, the show that goes over everything that happened in your world of Power Rangers. I'm talking television show, of course, merchandise, comics, oh, we've got some awesome comic stuff this time, video games, we cover it, let's get into it. We also, of course, have Tokusatsu news, as well as cameos coming back for Geo and more subs from seasons and shows you didn't even know existed. Do you have your drink? Fantastic, guys. Let's get to it. Crack it open. Woo! -hoo. Thank God it's Friday. And then we're going to sure we can review starting right now. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I am your host, Ranger Liz, and this show talks about Power Rangers and Super Sentai and Tokusatsu and Kamen Rider. And I know Super Sentai and Kamen Rider are Tokusatsu, but we're just going to leave it in like that because we're going to have some fun. We are, of course, going to talk about Power Rangers first, and then we are going to shift over. You can be able, if you were wondering and just wanting to stay for one type of topic, boom, check out all of the headlines above. We're going to talk about Ranger stuff first, then Kamen Rider, then Sentai, then Tokusatsu. So let's get going with some Beast Morphers, shall we? If you live in Canada, huzzah, you will start being able to watch Power Rangers on Saturday, May 11th. Wait, that's to tomorrow. I have like six Canadian fans, I think, but you guys get to watch it legally tomorrow. Oh, because none of you guys had actually watched the episodes yet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay. Okay. I'll have a link, check the schedule, and you will see it's going to be airing on Teletoons. Set your DVRs, folks. You get some Beast Morphers. I'm not saying it's a short week, but I do want to talk about this. Maybe it's been a short week. Power Rangers put out this tweet, and you guys probably saw it on social media. I'm sure they probably put it on Instagram and Facebook, too. But they were wanting to know what season was airing the year you were born, Ranger Nation. I feel old. <laughs> There were so many of us going, uh, I was the kids in Mighty Morphin you were targeting. It doesn't go back that far. What is it? Uh, no, not Five Man. I don't remember which one. I was born in 1986. I don't know which one was going on, but believe me, I predated all of them, and I felt very old, and some of you guys did as well, and I also wanted to laugh and say, if you were born in 2019, you probably shouldn't be on Twitter. Even if you were born January 1st, you would only be five months old, and I'm pretty sure five months old, I did not want my daughter anywhere near an electronic due to drool, let alone on a Twitter account. So Power Rangers, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Okay, and then of course there were some spin-offs. Uh, I think Squall put one out with uh, 
like what Sentai or like what Tokusatsu was going on. So those were kind of fun and people were like, oh, you're old. And I'm like, well, screw you. I'm gonna get AARP before you. But let's talk about the upcoming battle. Now, everything I say is of course rumored other than the things we have photo uh, photographic evidence for, but I did a big video on Tuesday, Wednesday, I did a live stream actually of Battle for the Grand Storm Mode. If you'd like to go watch that, uh, links and everything on my channel. On Tuesday, I posted this video about the team up in Beast Morphers, what we've heard so far, the rumors. Basically, I, I just lay it all out. These are the rumors, these are the facts, this is the conclusion I've come to, and you are welcome to draw your own conclusions. But to very, very much uh, briefify, Sure, that's a word. The video that I posted on Tuesday, Austin St. John, I talked about it before, Austin St. John should be coming back for Beast Morphers. However, Davy Santos, Brandon Mejia, and Yoshi Satarso are all also in New Zealand. All people from Dino Charge, all people that could very well be in this team up. Now, we don't know anything about Dino Thunder, and I went way more into the team up. Um, one of the villains they use is the suit that we used for Snide. One of the villain's suits is the one it looks like Goldar, ex except different, you know, like Neo Goldar. I mean, that could be, I've heard some great, great fan theories from you guys. Thank you so much, and keep them coming, please about how um, in the, the Sentai one, it was like Neo Gryffizor, the guy who couldn't looks like Goldar. There's some people like, oh, what if that Vargoyle from Beast Morphers, right? Because Vargoyle's still after Scrazzle. That would be really cool if they actually just tied it all in with this. That would be awesome, but believe me, I would I would flip if I saw like A.S. Jansen around and be like, Goldar? And just like, okay, and just, straight up pound them, like that would be amazing. But thank you for the fan theories. Go check out if you wanna hear even more about who could potentially be in it and uh, what it could even be about. Uh, check out my Tuesday video for that. And now we are going to move to Comic News. We got a big thing from Boom Studios this week talking about Necessary Evil. It's going to be starting at issue 40 for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I do believe it's going, is it going to be crossing over with GoGo -Go Power Rangers? I swear. We know it's an 11 issue story, so I don't know if it's just going to be 11 straight issues of MMPR. I think GoGo -Go is in there. Information's been a little strange about it so far, but in it we are seeing the White Ranger. So let's go over what we learn, okay? The playing cards, there are a bunch of different covers, you know, I'm gonna be showing you some of them, but one of them is a trading card cover, and with it, it actually says White Ranger named Tommy Oliver. So we did have it, some secrecy, I guess, I don't wanna have it be like, wah, wah, but it flat out says Tommy Oliver. Maybe you wanna think he's from another dimension or a different type of Tommy Oliver, that's fine. But on the playing card, White Ranger, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Tommy Oliver. With it though, we got some preview pages of issue 40 and with it something very, very interesting happened. Now remember, we left Shatter Grid, we immediately had to follow that team on with uh, Beyond the Grid. We have no idea what happened after Shatter Grid, right? It was just, it was a blank slate. We, we don't know what happened. So this is me kind of piecing it together, but White Ranger comes in and saves the day. If I had to guess the language being used by, in this, I don't think uh, the Red Ranger talks much, but they were all in their suits. It was the Yellow Ranger and the Black Ranger. But if you read the, uh, the actual words and stuff they're using, it seems like they are new and it's saying a new team of Power Rangers. Not only are we thinking this is after white light, it's after the power transfer, even. I really think this is going to be Aisha and Adam, and you know, it just, okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna miss the other characters. I wanna know what's happening with them. Like, wouldn't it be hilarious if instead of going to the peace conference, they became like ninjas or something and like fought crime as Batman in Switzerland or whatever? Like, oh no, Peace Corps was just uh, an excuse. Like, whatever, we're still superheroes, just nobody. I want to check in on them and they just be at the peace conference like this, twiddling their pencil, being like, I can't believe I gave up being a ranger for this. Just totally why Jason came back, right? Because the peace conference was super boring. Anywho, so we did get a bunch of covers. One thing that, there needs to be some more clarification on this because I've definitely had friends that were like, what? But apparently there's going to be, of course, multiple, multiple covers 
of all of these uh, trading cards is going to be one of them that's going to be really cool. But we also are going to have this story, and it's the only way you can hear about this story of things that were happening after Shattered Grid, kind of a, after Shattered Grid before we get back, they're going to be on the covers. So on one hand, balls, because I'm not going to buy another cover. I'm very cheap. I usually, I buy one cover unless I have to have another one. Regardless, apparently it's going to have a story, and it's going to be spread out on all of these covers. So on one hand, sweet, it's a story. On the other hand, crap, do I have to buy more covers to get it? If it's just the cover, will they release it? Like, they released all of the other covers, you know? There really wasn't any... I mean, for Shattered Grid itself, for, like, issue 25, when it started, they did the blind bag ones because you didn't know what Ranger you were gonna get, and that was, you know, a big thing. I don't think they're gonna purposely cover, though. Will they? I don't know. I'm not Boom Studios. And let me know, are you guys gonna be purchasing multiple copies of the covers? Uh, of course, there's going to be a bunch of these. Check out the links if you want to hear even more and read, you know, read all of it for yourself from Moom Studios about what is on their way. But I am really excited for a new team of Power Rangers with a new leader. And I want to at least have a goodbye between Jason and Trini. I guess that's Go-Go. Man, I'm getting my comics mixed up. Let's just move on from that. Really quick con news. I just want to give you guys the heads up that Ranger Stop uh, Atlanta is actually happening. They're announcing more guests, and that is happening in June. Get on that if you would like. And they, of course, have Ranger Stop in Orlando. That is also happening this year. Just because rangerstop.com, you can go check out both of their events that they are doing. I'm excited for Mighty Con St. Louis because uh, Tracy Lynn Cruz. It's coming, so I really think I'm gonna get a go. Maybe I'll get to bring my daughter, and she'll get to meet another ranger. And I'm like, you gotta support Yellow, right? Maybe I'll even wear my Yellow cosplay. I don't know. Random thing. Why am I wearing this? About next week, my schedule is gonna be a little chaotic. I don't know how the channel is gonna be affected, but let me give you the heads up. This next week, I have Wednesday night. I'm going to be up late watching uh, my normal men's team, St. Louis, uh, St. Louis FC. They play late Wednesday night, so I'm gonna be watching that. Thursday, I'm going to be downtown St. Louis at Bush Stadium watching the U.S. Women's National Team game. That is going to be fantastic. I'm going to be out there with the American Outlaws, all my buddies. I'm probably going to be coppling a bit. We're going to have a blast. I hope to take a bunch of pictures and video for you guys. Thursday, wait, Thursday is soccer game. Friday, I'm going to attempt to be doing the Ranger Week in Review live. That is right. Mark your calendars for Friday. And I honestly can't tell you, depending on how my daughter's being, being and whatever, I might do it in the afternoon, I might do it in the evening. I don't know. Because Saturday, I'm taking a bus trip with my soccer friends to Louisville for a game. It's a there and back one day trip. I'm going to be on a charter bus with five of us other girls. Uh, so we're going to have some fun. And I know that I kind of rambled on, but that's that's what I'm doing right now. So let's move on to some Toku news. Oh, thank you so much. I, I know this is... Uh, I've been getting alerts. I, I sent out a tweet about Robert Axelrod today, and thank you guys so much for retweeting it. Just looking like, Transformers Wiki has like 22,000 followers, and they retweeted it, and, and thank you guys so much, because this could, this is only gonna help his cause. Ranger Nation, Transformers Nation, whatever it is, uh, helping him out. Thank you guys, thank you guys so much. Okay, now for reals, we're gonna move to some Toku news. We're gonna be starting with Kamen Rider Geo. Main bit of writer news is that two people are returning from Kamen Rider Kiva, and another one will be going to be uh, another Kiva. We have uh, Kenji Masuda, who played Jiro, also uh, Gorillo, like, ow, ah, I liked him. Man, I gotta rewatch Kiva. And Yu Takahashi, who played uh, Yori Aso, is going to be coming back. Also, now the actress Yumiko Shaku is going to be playing another Kiva in the upcoming arc. Uh, apparently, she was accused of a crime that she did not commit, was turned into another Kiva by Aura. Yuko wants to become the queen of the world, and when Gio finds out that she is his first love, he hesitates to fight her. Um, apparently, like, first love and whatever, and there's quite an age, apparently she was, like, his teacher or something, so don't get super creeped out when you think of the age difference in that. Uh, but these guys are going to be appearing on episodes 35 and 36. That will be May 12th and May 19th. Kamen Rider Kiva's head writer, uh, Toshishi 
Inoue came back to do it and directed by Kamen Rider G director Naoki Tamura. Yay, Kiva! I'm very excited for that. Uh, let's move on to some figure arts news for Geo. Geo 2 is going to be getting that release. I should talk to you guys about it. I swear it felt like last week, but apparently it was about last month at uh, Tamashi Nations. They showed it off, didn't have any more information, but guess what? Now we do. It is going to be coming out in October for 6,400 yen, but get on your middleman guys, it is going to be a Tamashi Web exclusive. Moving past Zio and other writer news, we could be getting the trademark for the next Common Writer series. Okay, whenever. I know, that's a really, you're like, what do you mean any day? Any day now. Basically, between now and June, we will probably be getting it. Uh, it's not like they put them out on a set date, you know? It's like, it's always, oh, it's May 13th, they post it now. It's weeks and whatever, so just know that you might be seeing breaking writer news about the next name of the writer series. Uh, we've been hearing some go follow at Real Man Hunt for some of the rumors. I've been seeing everything from like CD, Spider-Man, Briefcase. There have been a bunch of wacky ones, but who knows? Who knows how many of them will actually become true? So everything, of course, with a grain of salt. Let's move over to my favorite uh, writer now because he is also in Detective Pikachu, his cameo. I saw a very brief cameo, very brief cameo. Had not watched Detective Pikachu yet, by the way. I mean, it's Thursday, but I will be very, very soon. So Ryoma Takuchi did an interview, and I'm just gonna mention it because about how he was an inexperienced actor and what it was like dealing with Kamen Rider director uh, Hidenori Ishida, legendary director. But about how he first like saw him, he was like, he told me that my eyes looked like a dead fish, and it really pushed him to become a better actor. And he, you know, very very grateful for it. So if you want to go ahead and read all of it, check out the link. But I thought it was cute, and I can't wait to watch Detective Freaking Pikachu. Let's go on to some other Sentai news. We have absolutely zilch for Soldier this week. Sorry guys. In other Sentai news, Bio Man, stay with me. Bioman is appearing in a convention, all five of them, plus the suit actor for Bio Red. You wanna know where you can go meet them? Paris. Hey. Japan Expo is holding its, uh, I believe it was 20th anniversary, I'm sorry if I had that wrong, but I believe it was the 20th one, they're celebrating the 35th anniversary of the show. Apparently, it's, well, only the 8th Super Sentai. They apparently aired it over in uh, France, and it was huge. It was like a pop cultural thing. So all five of them, plus a, the suit actor for Red, are going to be together on a panel. I Who knows if this is ever going to be put up on YouTube or whatever, but it's going to be July 5th from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. Japan Expo 2019 in Paris. Tickets are available if you would like to go. I don't even want to know what the cost of that flight would be at this point. Might be cheaper to go to Pasadena though. If you would like to meet Deco Red, he has been announced he is going to Japan World Heroes event. Japan World Heroes is done by the same people who do Power Morphicon. It is to celebrate more of the tokusatsu side of things. So Ryuji Sane is going to be there. He played, of course, Deco Red Ban. I think he had a full name, but he was Ban. <laughs> With the short little spiky hair. I watched I watched Decker Ranger like on an elliptical over the course of a month. I'm just like, yeah, Ben! Ah! Jasmine is an Esper. Every time! Again, it's a trope, it's whatever, it's just Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hey, you want to get subs for a show you might not have even known existed? How about Mobile Cop Jimin? Now, if you listen to the show, you would have known they were already being subbed a little bit, but of course, Metallic Fan Subs does it again. Full batch torrent along with the movie. If you would like to go check them out, Fan Subs, thank you so much to Metallic Fan Subs for getting this. It's I feel like it's a piece of history at this point that they are helping preserve for future generations. And maybe that's, you know, me like thinking way too much into it, but I, I really, really appreciate it. Who knows in 50 years, are people going to be able to find it or whatever? And the more ways it's out there, it's awesome to keep preserving these bits of tokusatsu lore and history. Thank you to Metallic Fan Subs and go check them out if you would like to hear the subs of Mobile Cop Jibin. Jibin. Jibin? J-I-B-N? 
No Jiban. Be like Jiban? Bobocam Jiban? Jiban. Jiban. Okay, I gotta stop this now. Quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping make this video and all of my reviews and what not possible. Getting in without you. Thank you very much. The names will be at the end. If you enjoyed this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment about all of the things I have asked or just general, how are you doing? And don't forget to share it with a friend if you think there's something in it that they would enjoy. Thank you guys so much for staying till the end of the video. I super, super appreciate it. I am ready to have a fantastic weekend. Oh, get Mother's Day. Mother's Day is Sunday. Guys, if you haven't remembered yet, do it. I'm actually, I'm, I'm heading uh, to go see my mom. Leaving Saturday night and I get back till Sunday. Spending some quality time with my mom and my parents and probably being very, very offline. So it's going to be nice. I'm really looking forward to it. And of course, next week's going to be crazy. I'll be updating you about the U.S. game, of course. My name is Ranger Liz. I hope you guys have a fan freaking tastic weekend, Ranger Nation. And I'll see you later. Love you. Toodles. I get to jump. Ready? Video, video, subscribe, Patreon. Whee!